Today on Camping Comfortably, we're going to talk about sleeping bags. And you might think that, well, it's just a sleeping bag. It is very important to have a good sleeping bag because a good night's sleep out there is a good camping trip. You, you got to go into the store when you're shopping for a bag and you got to go in the store dressed in what you sleep in because you want to try these bags out. Maybe even issue I sleep naked. So you don't want it too short of a bag like this. That obviously doesn't fit me at all. And you don't want too big of a bag like that. You want something that fits you really nice and snug. To look at what type of uh, material or insulation, that's really critical. Uh, it, it's a debate. Some people prefer down and some people prefer um, uh, synthetic. Um, but synthetic actually is good if the bag gets wet. If there's a downpour and somehow your sleeping bag gets wet, you can go be inside the bag and even though it's wet, you can still get some type of heat from it. If it's a down bag, uh, if it gets wet, it's useless. So that's, that's a huge disadvantage. I actually prefer a down bag. My, my wife prefers some synthetic, but I prefer the down. Why I prefer the down is that it's really toasty, warm, really cozy uh, because of the down, but also because of compression, you can squish this thing to like a little tiny ball and, and it, the size, you know, it matters, right? But remember, if the down gets wet, it is useless. So you use your white synthetic bag when she's not looking. Well, there's two general shapes of bags. This is the rectangle bag. It's obviously my daughter's bag, but, uh, but yeah, you can actually have something like this. Uh, but if it gets cold, you want something over your head. Now you can put a toque on if, with that, or you could get a bag with a hood on it or what, what some people call a mummy bag. You put the hood over your head like that to keep your, your head warm and all the heat inside. You got to look at things like the zipper. Actually, the zipper is far more important than you think. Um, you want to make sure the zipper is easy, easy to do up and easy to undo. And also has insulation behind it so you don't have you know, air going through the zipper that actually doesn't get stuck. You also have to make sure you look at this Velcro here that attaches. Because you want to undo that really quickly and unzip really quickly. But I, I just really think that this is really important. You got to make sure that you're going to pull on this and have it on top of your head to make sure that you're nice and toasty at warm at night. The more sewing pockets it has, the better the insulation. Because the insulation are in these pockets and like two or three sewed compartments, it's a lousy bag. It's all, all the insulation is going to get all clumpy and everything else. So that's really important. Um, so, I don't know, you also want to be able to afford it. I mean... Sometimes the bag is really kind of expensive. Now, if it's expensive and you can't afford it and you're still looking for something, you know, warm, well, just make your own liner uh, out of cotton or whatever and you put this in. You can wash this on your own too, which is really cool. And instead of buying a really expensive bag, get a moderate expensive bag and just put the liner inside and, you know, sleep in that and you're good. All right, so, uh, well, I'm well, going to make sure that you fit really nice in this. Oh my get this. <laughs> and then you got this little hoodie thing. Oh, ow, ow. Uh, so that's about it. All right, that's uh, camping comfortably. There you go. Oh, what's that? <laughs> ow, ow. Okay, I'm not gonna camp comfortably tonight.